Next guest is an award-winning musician, just plays incredible guitar and writing songs and is always at the cutting edge of uh, technology and also uh, social media and music. And his latest CD is called Out of Time. He's got a bunch of his friends all over this record, and uh, we're here to talk once again. It's been a while, but uh, we welcome to WVOF and the Upper Room with Joe Kelly, Vernon Neely. Neely, how you doing, Vernon? I'm doing great, Joe. Once again, my friend, it's a pleasure and a privilege to be with you today. Yeah, we we might have talked, I think, right around G-Fire, I think. Yeah, I think it was, uh, actually, I think it, uh, it was the last time that we talked was uh, when I put out the uh, Stevie Wonder tribute that's, oh, uh, that's project. Right. That's right, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, you're right on that. Um, now... You've been uh, working hard with, uh, you know, I always think when it's a great, great testament to how people must love working with you. And, uh, you know, you don't want to hog it all when you have talented musicians like Greg Howe and Frank Gambale and, and such. They come on your record. How, how do you get them on your record and tell us about in the studio with them? Well, you know, um, all of the, the, the people that appeared on the project I've known for for years. So, you know, Frank uh, has been a friend of mine for years. Uh, we also endorsed a, a pickup company that we're associated with together. Uh, as you know, Kiko, I've known for years and uh, has uh, recorded uh, music for my label, and we still handle some of uh, Kiko's music. Mm-hmm. Uh, Greg, Greg Howe, once again, other a great friends. So, uh, you know, part of these guys just being incredible uh, uh, virtuoso uh, musicians, they're, they're also personal friends. How, how do you take a back seat to when they play the guitar solo? Oh, it's just no, no problem for me whatsoever because each individual uh, has their own uh, particular method, their own particular style. And that's one of the beautiful things about... Uh, doing a project like this because for the listener it becomes uh, a, a more diverse uh, body of music to listen to because every, everybody has their own thing and so there's never any type of ego or uh, these kind of things. That, you know, one of the wonderful things uh, that I want to add is, you know, all of these guys are so uh, so well known in, in, in the world of music uh, that, uh, you know, they're very, very confident of who they are and uh, they have wonderful careers uh, for themselves. And so there's, there's never any uh, type of uh, feeling of, okay, well, I play better than you play or that, that kind of thing. They just bring their creative hats and their, their talents and, and uh, they understand what I'm trying to do with the project and they, they bring their best. Uh, you know, you can not ask for better than that. Well, we've got a great CD from Vernon Neely, and it's uh, out of time, and you can go to vernonneely.com. His uh, last name spelled N-E-I-L-L-Y.com. Um, any other spots you want to direct the listeners to to pick up the record? Absolutely. I mean, you know, they can uh, listen to and buy the CD uh, at iTunes, uh, Amazon.com, and any digital retailer around the world has a project already uh uh, CD Baby has physical copies, so if they rather get a physical copy rather than uh, a download, they can they can get it there. And uh, but you know, all they have to do is put a, a a type my name in a search out of time, and they'll they'll uh, be able to find the music, no problem. Um, we got to talk about a, a track which the video has just exploded with uh, views all over, and a really well produced video. Of course, the song's great. Uh, they don't care. Which, wow! You, you hit you hit the nail on so many uh, heads on the, on the lyrics on this one. It's uh, they don't care. How was it writing this one? Well, they don't care. You know, um, I was really really influenced on this uh, particular song by the many issues, uh, social socio economic issues, uh, the amount of of violence that we see around the world in our own uh, society here in in the United States, and we 
we see the individuals who we have sent to Washington, D.C. to represent us really, really not paying attention to the consensus of what the uh, American people really want them to do. Uh, it seems all too often uh, that once people get there to Washington, D.C., they quickly forget uh, who voted for them and their problems. And and so uh, as this continues to go on, though, the, the problems continue to go unsolved. And this is the issue. And so when I, uh, I wrote uh, this piece called They Don't Care, along with my, my son, who's also a, a producer and, uh, and, and an artist, uh, he's the one that's actually doing the vocal on this uh, particular uh, project, uh, we sat down and we talked about it and how we could best uh, present the, the message uh, so that people could understand that this, what we're experiencing now is very, very troubling. Mm -hmm. And we all have a part in trying to do our best one by one to make our voices heard and to let those who are supposed to be representing us, uh, let them know that they can no longer turn a blind eye. And, but at the moment, that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And so that's why the track is called They Don't Care. So uh, we're going to give a listen to it right now and come back and uh, speak once again with Vernon Neely. This is from Out of Time and great video. You can uh, just check it out on, on YouTube and uh, They Don't Care. So we'll listen to it right now, right here on 88. All right. That is an outstanding cut from Vernon Neely's latest CD called Out of Time and the track you heard, They Don't Care. As uh, we listen, like to say hello to G. So. Listen out there on the internet, wvof.org. So you, you got people listening, and if, if uh, they don't hear the interview today, we'll be having it on our own website, upperroomwithjoekelly.com, tomorrow evening, streaming or download. So uh, thanks for coming on, Vernon. It's been a pleasure. It's yeah. always a pleasure, uh, Joe. You know, uh, uh, always uh, like to uh, uh, keep in touch with you and tell you what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, you you've uh, you know we were talking off air about you know the technology of uh, and networking in the music business, and and you definitely participated in NAM uh, for several years. And for our listeners who are probably saying, "What is NAM?" No idea. What what kind of uh, environment is that for a musician? Well, NAM is a, is a is a great spot to uh, network with individuals. What NAM actually is. NAM is an international organization that was put together uh, for the music retail industry. And so every year, uh, twice a year, the, the retail industry converges during the wintertime on Anaheim, California, and during the summer at Nashville. And this is where all of the retailers uh, show their latest uh, instruments, gadgets, uh, uh, they even have uh, companies that have instructional videos that show their latest things. So it's really, really a, a gathering place for all of the uh, top um, manufacturing companies, but also all of the top musicians in the world because they come out to support their companies. They come out, they do performances. And so... Uh, uh, it's a great networking place uh, for the music industry, for people who are writers, producers, arrangers, artists. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful event. So do you change up uh, guitars often uh, yourself? Oh, well, for years I was using a signature model that was made for me by a Brazilian company. Uh, but uh, a few years back, maybe three Years back, I started uh, working with another company uh, that I'd worked with before during the 90s called Parker. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a very, very innovative instrument. And um, I love uh, the, the technology of the instrument. I love the weight of the instrument, playability of the instrument. So currently I'm using uh, Parker guitars exclusively again. Vernon Neely is with us and uh, just got a lot of great sounds on this new record. Out of time at vernonneely.com. 
So, so you're out in LA, and uh, uh-huh. you are an international traveler. I mean, spent time. You were born uh, not in the states, I believe, right? No, I was actually born in the Philippines. Yes. Okay. So, and uh, I grew up uh, in the Bahamas. That's right. What 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 uh, brought you to the different countries when you were young? Well, my father was in the military. My father was a a career service uh, a serviceman. He spent uh, thirty plus years serving the United States in the Air Force. And so as a youngster, I traveled all over the world uh, because he traveled all over the world. So uh, that's how I really uh, started traveling. And subsequently, though, uh, becoming a professional musician, I've been fortunate uh, to be able to play my music all over the world as well. We're going to get into a track right now and give our listeners more of Out of Time. And uh, you spoke about the Bahamas, Nassau Nights. This this is a, a different vibe and, and nice, nicely spotted on the CD. T- tell us about making this particular cut. The Nassau Nights is, is a song that I uh, wrote some years ago. As a matter of fact, it, uh, it originally appeared uh, on a CD that I had uh, produced for a uh, company called Seymour Duncan, which is one of the companies that endorses me. And on this particular project, it had uh, all-star appearances by people like Slash and Jennifer Batten, Real Big Fish, uh, Blink-182, and and, uh, others. And so uh, what I did with this particular track is is I simply updated it, and then I got... uh, uh, my friend Frank Gambali to come in and, and do some guitar work for me. Uh, uh, another brilliant guitar player from Brazil named Cacao Santos. And also uh, Juan Nelson, who is the basis of Ben Harper and the Innocent Criminals. And also uh, another uh, bass player friend of mine who was uh, uh, part of Jay Leno's band, uh, Derek Murdoch. Mm-hmm. And so we put this track together, uh, uh, revamped it, I should say, uh, and you hear the results. It's, it's, a, it's an awesome track. All right. We'll uh, give a listen to it right now from Out of Time. All right. Music from Mr. Vernon Neely from Out of Time. Get this record. It's uh, one of his outstanding releases, his latest release, but he's got a whole catalog of music that you can get. Uh, VernonNeely.com, CD Baby. Amazon, all, all the different outlets, and uh, that is called Nassau Nights. So, so you've been uh, promoting this record, and uh, man, you've been, you've been giving interviews in print and uh, some some uh, from different countries as well, right? Yes. Well, as you mentioned before, you know I'm an international touring artist. So when we release things, uh, we release them all over the world. And so, uh, for example. Um, I uh, usually tour in Brazil every year. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'll do it this year because of uh, the things that are going on down there this year. But uh, usually I tour in Brazil, mm-hmm. and uh, I have a really good following in Brazil. Uh, everybody in the music community knows me there. And, and so uh, not only do I once again, promote here in the United States, but it's international in, in, in Europe. As a matter of fact, uh, we just started our uh, European um, uh, music radio campaign, so things are really starting to get hot and heavy over there. And then um, the next month we will uh, start focusing here on the United States because the States is just a little bit uh, tougher market. Right. And, and yeah. so we want to have a story that's already built for the record by the time we come back here and promote the record here. Yeah, you mentioned how, how the landscape definitely been changed in all these years for, uh, for, for, for musicians that we grew up on radio-wise. And um, what, what did you uh, grow up listening to, by the way? Well, it was a variety of, 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 of music, and this is why maybe... Uh, it shows up in, in my writing and composing. When I was uh, younger, I uh, was very, very influenced by uh, my mother, who's a classically trained pianist and violinist. My, uh, my aunt, her sister, is also a tra- uh, classically trained pianist, and she 
was a professor of music who was educated at Cambridge in England. And uh, my uncle, their brother, was a professional jazz musician. So um, I've listened to various forms of music all of my life, uh, whether it was classical music, jazz music, popular music, um, because I spent a, a lot of time when I was younger in the Bahamas, things like Clipso, Reggae, Soca. Uh, and so I have a very, a very, very diverse um musical palette if you if you say and uh and it what influences me still you, you know i don't uh sit down and consciously think about uh what i'm going to write i'll just say okay well let me see if uh, what i'm going to write today for example nassau nights that just came up uh from a thought that i had one day uh because of doing the project that i mentioned before and i knew that most of the musicians uh, that were going to be on that project were either going to be uh, rock musicians or hard rock musicians, so I said, well, I want to put something on here different, so I wrote something that had more of a, a Latin feel to it, and uh, so all, all of these things, it's just like a big uh, warehouse of musical influences that I, that I pull from. Yeah, before we play the last track and, and say goodbye to Vernon, we just wanted to... Uh direct our listeners to his website vernonneely.com neely is spelled n e i l y.com for out of time and dig up uh, a lot of the great music from previous releases and get those as well and um, you tackle you tackle a classic and make it your own on this record with fire mm -hmm. yeah how how do you approach songs like that which are which are legendary and, and flipping it up cuz you you definitely did and made it your own well, I, I can't claim all of the credit for this one because I worked uh, on this particular one very, very closely with uh, my good friend and buddy, Greg Howe. Mm -hmm. And so when I first contacted Greg about wanting to do this particular song, um, I explained to him, you know, what I wanted the feel to be like. And uh, so uh, he sent me uh, some ideas, and the ideas that he sent me uh, I loved. And so we, we, uh, uh, subsequently got together, um, uh, in completing, uh, completing the track. But I didn't, I, I wanted the song to have the elements of, uh, Jimmy's song, Fire. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I wanted it definitely to, to, to feel different and, and, uh, be original. So I think that, uh, Greg and I accomplished that. Yeah, most definitely. So, hey, we got to thank you, brother, for coming by once again. That's always a pleasure, yeah. Joe. Always a pleasure, my friend. And uh, continued success to you because, I mean, you you have a long-standing running uh, uh, program, and, you know, that that's simply awesome as well. So con yeah. continued success to you, Joe. Yeah, thanks. Ho we, we both got a lot, lot more years to go, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully yeah. so. <laughs> All right, this is uh, Vernon Neely from Out of Time Fire right here on WVOA.